my channel welcome back if you're new here welcome i'm so excited to do this video because i actually got a lot a lot of presents for my birthday um and i just want to show you so if you saw my last vlog i kind of like gave some little sneak peeks of some of the presents that i received i didn't show my reaction because i wanted to keep that private for like my friends and family but here we go with the haul for starters Everybody actually asked me for like a wish list this year, which is rare because I don't know, it just never happens. And there were a couple things that I had really, really been wanting for a long time. So I made a little list, I sent it to everybody, and I was like, look, if you want to get me something from here, go ahead. But you obviously are no forced to, you can get me anything else. So, number one thing is this super cute purse from Up. My parents actually got it for me. It's like the mailbox. If you know me, you know how obsessed I am with freaking up. And it has like the cutest details ever. Lounge fly is kind of pricey, but I actually had like coupons and there was like a promotion. So it turned out to be less than half a price, which is pretty freaking good. So I honestly, I'm not big on purses or bags or anything like that. But when I saw this one, I just like completely fell in love over. The detail inside is so pretty. It has like the balloons and it's just like stunning. I really like it. It can be crossbody or you can hold it like this. So I'm actually going to be doing a what's in my bag video once I transfer everything that I have from my current bag into this one because I think it's such a cute one. I want to show it off. So here's like the sides with the straps and in the back. I don't know if you were able to notice before, but it has like this super cute as if it was a mailbox. I'm gonna keep it down just in case it like, I don't know, like breaks or something. I don't want it to. So yeah, but you can have it like up like that. So cute. And now that we're in the theme of up my best friend paola actually got me something that i had just found out about like two days before my birthday i had gone to the disney store with my brother we were looking like for squishmallows of course because what else would i do and we went into a disney store and this is actually quite heavy so i'm sorry if i can't really pick it up well but it is a little house from up obviously and it has like the pencils and the pencils have different details like this one is of the dog which i cannot dog I literally forgot the name for a second and then the house with balloons and then the other one is like the grape soda little chip so it's super cute it is super heavy this would be really good as a what's it called like um like a paper holder so yeah I'm gonna have this on my desk I have to like rearrange everything again which if you know me you know how much I love organizing so I'm looking forward to doing that and yeah I really like that it's honestly something that I wouldn't have gotten myself but I really really wanted it so i'm glad somebody got it for me up next we have like a sticker category i tried to like split this in categories to kind of like know how to do the order but like if you see this christmas tree by the way i forgot to mention at the beginning but this is actually my birthday tree my mom decided to do like a valentine's tree because honestly we love the decorations and we didn't want to take them down so this was like her excuse to continue having the like, Christmas tree, but she put like a bunch of heart ornaments and she put like a heart on the top, it's super cute. If I find a clip of just the tree by itself, I'm going to add it like right now. Um, but yeah, in there, they put like all the presents right there on the bottom. And then once I took them out of the bags, I put them up on this little thing we have here at the entrance. So I've just been like passing by and looking at them. And today my mom was like, okay, it's time for you to, um, them in place because i kind of like don't want the house valentine mode anymore i'm like okay i guess i have to <laughs> but up next we have the stickers so my best friend before we go into the stickers uh linda she got me this bracelet from oh my god i literally just got a heart attack because i thought somebody was at the door but it's because she has like this heart thing hanging from the door and i guess with the wind it like smacked it that literally scared me so much but my best friend linda got me this bracelet it has a little panda let me see i have to do like a super close up for this but it's a little panda hanging from the string and it is so cute she said that all the proceeds or some of the proceeds went to the wwf foundation and it is from pura vida braces by the way i forgot to mention that so in that little set they also brought like a bunch of stickers which usually they do include a sticker with every order but wow this ones are just next level stunning it came like in this super cute thing and the stickers are 
so so pretty so they usually do some like related to costa rica but this one like, it's my absolute favorite i just love how pretty the art is i don't know if you can see it hopefully you can it is so pretty it is stunning so i really like the vibe of the stickers and i can't wait to use them for a future bullet journal one so i'm just gonna put them back here and next up my best friend paola got me this caber stickers i don't know where she found this but i actually had some similar to this when i was younger and they're still part of my collection of course but i had told her that i was suddenly very into care bears again so she got me this and it's so cute i really like it They're super cute and then i also got let me show you my brother got me these super cute ones they're so cute i don't know where he got them but they're all like space related and this little alien it's like literally i'm dying for it then i also got another like set of stickers but i don't want to take them out because they're very very small it's gonna be hard to show them but Steven got me this like sticker organizer or I guess I could say that I got it myself I have put this on my wish list and then he told me to not check his email because he was making a purchase for like he told me the name of the store which I think is called Fuji B and I was like oh I wonder where it is I wonder if it's a sticker organizer and he was like actually I couldn't find it and I was like what do you mean that's the one thing I want so I was like crazy and I email or like message on Instagram the seller and I asked her Hey, my boyfriend just made an order there. Can I combine it with the sticker organizer because he wasn't able to find it? And she was like, yeah, of course. So I ended up adding this to his order <laughs> And when I opened the present, I was like, oh babe, look, look what is here And he literally did not remember that he didn't buy it himself. So that was very interesting So I bought myself this. It's a sticker organizer. It comes with the inserts and it just makes it easier for you to hold like the super small ones which is kind of funny because i also got another sticker organizer um that i'm gonna show you now but they they have like little pockets and it has like little zippers and stuff so i like really really like it i've wanted this for a while now and i got more cambridge stickers and lizzie mcguire stickers because i love her and i have put it on my wish list i love this this is very practical but like this is just so funny if you saw my vlog you saw that my best friend's sister-in-law got me this and you know what that means now i can collect even more stickers because i have more space for it actually i want to like use this with stationery as well because i have a bunch of like stuff to make letters and i mean if you saw like my my stationery collection you know what i'm talking about so i have like a bunch of those little things and i can keep them in sections since it all has like different compartments and different like storage so i really like this i am a sucker for organization items so i am very excited that i have this too hi also got this super cute washi tape that i'm not sure if i'm gonna be able to show i guess i, I can open it so it's easier but it is also from the store fuji b which is the one where i got the little um like album i guess you can say or like folder for the stickers Steven picked up this one and honestly he couldn't have picked a better one because I love Halloween I mention it a lot in here but he got me this one which is like his sing her signature character the little bear and he got the one in purple because I love it and it's called Lavender Lavender <laughs> Lavender Bear um, Lavender was the name of the polish that I was wearing for my birthday so that's kind of funny um, and then I got this pin from Hawaii from my favorite co-worker so it's this super cute girl but she got me that and she also got me candy so i'm not going to show the candy here but i wanted to say that if you will be interested in seeing me react to the candy in spanish make sure you write a comment requesting the video because my best friend alma has been begging me to do a video in spanish and i just cannot think of what to do in spanish um I got some suggestions saying to just do like a regular video but like speak everything in Spanish but I just don't think that's funny enough so I thought it would be more entertaining to try out the candy from Hawaii and reacting in Spanish and yeah so if you're interested in that just leave me a comment and I'll make sure to do it very soon the next item is something that I actually showed in the vlog I had mentioned that I wanted to start reading more this year and that I wanted to make it like a thing for me to read a new 
cookbook every year, I mean every month, and Steven took it to heart. He literally got me every single book from my wish list, which is super kind. I am super excited for these three because I do collect I Am Drake um, books. I literally have almost all of them. I think with this, I'm only missing like one that is super hard to find, but he releases all these like limited release books that I obsess with. So if you don't get it there on the spot, it's super hard to find. He somehow was able to find this one and I am very excited for that. And then he also got me this book that I had been literally seen everywhere. Like on Instagram, uh, like bloggers talk about it. It's just, I, I, I've seen it like everywhere. So I added it to my list and I was gonna get it for myself, but then he ended up getting it for me. It is this one, it's called, you always change the love of your life for another love or another life. And I really like it. I am excited for it. It's kind of like interactive. It reminds me a lot of the Adam JK video, um, videos. What am I talking about? Books. Um, people always say that she kind of like copy him and that there's like some fe like feud going on between them, but there really isn't. He has spoken up about it and yeah, I decided to get that book. And then the next two books are, this one was recommended by, I believe that what we said podcast. They said that this is a really, really good read. It's called The Highly Sensitive Person, which I 100% am. It's funny because my coworker asked me, like I think on Friday, she was like, um, uh, I don't remember how she said it herself exactly, but she asked me if she was too sensitive. And I told her, have you met me? I'm literally so sensitive. I take everything to heart, like literally everything to heart. So I am excited to read this book and see if I can improve on being a little less sensitive. And then this book is actually kind of funny how I found it is this one. It's called One None and a Hundred Thousand. And apparently it's a very boring read. <laughs> After reading the reviews, I was like, oh, that kind of sucks. But I saw this quote that like, just like mind blown my mind. Mind blown my mind. That literally makes no sense. But it was just like insane. I loved it. I saved it. Now I cannot find it, which just drives me crazy. But I remember reading it very, very late when I worked at the hospital. I used to work overnight and I went digging to find where it came from. So I actually didn't find it myself. My best friend found it and it was this book. I had it on my wish list for like ever. And for some reason I never bought it. So he got it for me. He told me to just give it a try anyways, in, um, even though I saw in the reviews that everybody hates it. So I'm going to do that and then I don't know, I guess I'll keep you updated. Staying on the topic of like reading books and all of that, my best friend Linda got me so many bookmarks. She said she got me like this set just because of one. Like she wanted to get it just one, but it came in a set. And I'm so glad she got me all of them because I mean, have you seen the amount of books I just received? So she got me all of these ones. They are so cutie, they're all mini schnauzers and I just love them. I love mini schnauzers so much. This one looks identical to Summer which is, you know, the one that she actually wanted to get me. I don't know if you can see it, let me see. And my cousin sent me from Costa Rica this one, which I will not be using as a bookmark. It is way too cute and I'm going to be afraid to break it, but it's a little sloth and it's so adorable. I love it. I love things that are like handmade, so I'm very excited for those. And yeah, that's everything for the book reading category. I forgot to mention, but my best friend Linda also got me this super cute schnauzer. It's supposed to be like a um, like a pot to put a plant in. And I think I'm going to put it next to a panda one that I got for Christmas like two years ago and it's broken. But I think it's so cute. She was like kind of sad that it was the gray one, but I totally do not care. I love any type of schnauzers. I wish I had like all of them. I wish I had like five. <laughs> so the next thing is this super cute set that I had shown my best friend Paola and I told her, um, should I get this? Like, I really like it. I'm kind of like into Care Bears again for some reason. And it's this super cute mask I wore it on this picture. I'm going to insert it right here. And it is very comfy, also very cute. And then it came with a matching scrunchie, which is so exciting for when I like grow my hair. Um, yeah, I know my hair is like super short right now, but it literally grows so quickly. It has been a month and it's already touching like my shoulders. So it's very promising. Then I, we're moving on to the drinking category. So my online friends got me this Light Squad mug gave me a super strong warning to not wash it. So I will not be washing it on the dishwasher or any sort of washer, 
but I am very excited. I usually have, um, well, I have like a whole collection of mugs, but I have some that I don't use to drink. Like I just have them for display or I put like stuff inside. So that's going to be one of them. And then she also got me, oops, I put something inside, oopsies. Um, she also got me this Radon mug which I'm so excited for because it has yellow inside. I love collecting the ones that have yellow because um, I don't know, I just, I'm a collector. It says shine and I love it. I think after having this one, I'm only missing one more, which is cup, on sun, cup of sunshine. So if I find that one, then my life will be complete. They also got me this Starbucks mug. I am not a Starbucks person at all, but my friends are. And every time they start like, Brag, like no bragging like talking a lot about something I end up getting hooked so Starbucks mugs are kind of like my thing now and this one is so pretty this is literally my favorite shade of purple if I could no I was about to say something very dark but if I was a color I would be this color that's something better it feels so nice like I don't know how to explain I am not like a touchy person but I am very, like my senses are very strong. So this is just like, I'm living for this. I'm living for this 100%. She also told me to be careful when washing this. So I will also be careful. I don't know if I'm gonna be using it, honestly, but it's so cute, I like it. I'm probably gonna be taking a picture with this. We're almost done with this haul. Please, please hang strong. But my corker got me this super cute Hello Kitty lunchbox. I'm going to be using this to like, um store stationery and stuff like that because I have a lot of Hello Kitty stationery but this is so adorable this reminds me of when I was little I literally had so many of these ones obviously different designs but I am very excited for this it has like the cutest little print on the side and it comes with a little bottle let me show you it comes with a little bottle and a like so cute i like taking like little juices to work because i'm actually like a child so i will be taking this and then it comes with this to put i guess like pencils and stuff like that so that's always always handy for me since i have so many i am very excited for this let me just put it away i'm so sorry for all the noise but I also got two pair of socks, which I'm so excited because I literally live in socks. I, I get super cold on my feet, I don't know why. But this is like a theme one. It's a St. Patrick one, so I'm going to be wearing this one. And they're like long, so I'm very excited for that. I can wear shorts and have them like very long. And then a Valentine's one, which I should have... I'm going to switch them out because today when I'm recording this video, it's actually Valentine's. So I'm going to put this on right now, immediately. And yeah, that's everything for the socks. And I think I'm only missing two things, but I don't wanna, oh, I'm missing nail polish, how did I forget? Okay, before we get to the nail polish, because I actually have them hanging here. Um, I know it's super cute, like a little ornament. I wanted to mention that Steven's dream actually became true. He was able to get me the freaking octopus thing that switches and it says the mood it was actually kind of funny we were just walking by the mall it was it was literally closed already i don't know why we were walking by um and there was this shop about to close down and it had like a bunch of little plushies and things like that and i don't know how he saw it like he literally just saw it he was like oh my god the octopus i'm getting it for you i've literally been dying to get that for you so i was like okay but it's always going to be in purple and yeah i finally have it he also wants me to like put it on my head or something i don't know why i actually did like a little story i'm going to include it right here it was really funny just here spending my birthday with all my friends so up next i have freaking squishmallows if you saw my vlog you saw my hunt for the squishmallows i have like specific ones that I want to find, but apparently they're the most difficult ones to find. Of course, why could I make this easy for myself? But when I saw this one, we went to Claire's to find the Hello Kitty ones, which are the ones that I actually really, really, really want. And this one is just so cute. Like I saw it and Steven was like, oh my God, that's cute. You like it? Let's just get it, let's just get it. You've been looking for freaking Squishmallows forever. And he got me this one, the pineapple, which is called, let's see, Maui, so cute. And then this one is called orange. I don't know. And I think it's an orange. Unsure. Is it an orange? Yeah, it's an orange. And it's so cutie. It's so squishy. Like, it's so nice. We also saw a Baby Yoda one. But I think it was a fake because it wasn't, like, as squishy and, like, soft as they usually are. So, good thing we didn't get that one. But on this little, like, collection, I guess, I love all of them. 
except the apple just kidding except the apple i really want to get the strawberry one the watermelon the avocado but not the apple the apple is not really killing me um so those those are the ones for the fruits i really want those and then for the animal ones i mean not like anybody asked but i would like to get the sheep the cow sheep the cow the i think it's an octopus yeah i think it's an octopus and then from the Sanrio one, I want Hello Kitty, I want Melody, and I want, oh, I don't remember his name, the green one, the froggy, I cannot remember the name right now, sorry, don't kill me, but I want those. And then, let me think, is there any other ones? I want Baby Yoda, and then I also want, not the tin, I think that was it, that's it. But, you know, if TikTok decides to show me another one, I might start wanting that one too. I promise you, we're almost done. I'm literally holding the last, the last items. But I have forgotten to show what my best friend Paola got me. She got me this key, which we had also seen with my brother at the Disney shop literally two days before my birthday. And I told him, oh my God, I want those keys so bad. They're so cute. And this is the up one. I actually had it hanging there on my tree. That's why I forgot. And then my internet friends got me this ornament of a strawberry donut. You already know I love those. And then for nail polish, my best friend Sherry got me this little trio from Lights Lacquer. I, they had released it for the holidays. It, there was like a whole thing happening with the advent calendar and then they released this. So I wasn't gonna buy them because I just felt a little weird about it, but I put it on my wish list and I was like, oh, maybe if somebody gets them, then I'll be cool with that. So this was actually very cute to hang on my tree and it's this three little shades. I can't wait to add it to my little like holder. And then also this three. They're very really like holiday, but if individually, I think they're super, super cute and unique. I kind of don't want to take them out of the packaging, of course. And then the last item for real this time is this super cute polish from Dimension Nails. It's called Hatchlin. It is the perfect purple. Like you don't understand. So my friend Alenia got me this and I was literally in tears because I've been wanting this polish for so long and it's always out of stock and every time there's a sale this one it's not there so it's my first dimension nails polish and I am so excited to add it in my collection I can't wait for like the next ones that I'll be able to purchase myself so yeah that was pretty much everything that I got for my birthday thank you so much to everybody who got me something who wished me you know a good day who remembered me on this special day and uh, yeah that's pretty much everything i hope you enjoy seeing all the things i love doing whole videos i don't know if you're getting tired of them but i really like showing you the things that i have because i am a collector i love having things and yeah that's pretty much it so if you like this video please don't forget to give it a like subscribe do all the things and actually don't forget to comment right now if you want me to try out the candy from hawaii in spanish Okay, I'll see you in my next video on Monday. Bye. You don't understand, my light literally just fell down. I screamed, everybody came out to my rescue. It was like a whole thing. But um, I'm going to open a fortune cookie. My mom said this is my last present for my birthday. So I'm going to open it and see what message I got. Hopefully it's nothing too savage. And let's see, I'm gonna actually give it to Summer. I don't know where she is. Summer? Summer? Sorry. Wow, my cookie is like throwing major tea right now. Hold on, let me give. I like to give her the pieces. Okay. Oh, she almost just bit off my finger. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so my cookie says, work on your diplomatic skills and avoid conflict at all costs. It's literally coming for me. I am the most conflicted person ever. So yeah, that's going to be the end of my video.